right when I went down, I remember just feeling my teeth covering my, my tongue in the back of my mouth. It's kind of gruesome. Uh, I thought I was like swallowing my four bottom teeth. Number 12 twin shortstop Kyle Farmer remembers every detail from his at bat after being hit in the face with a 92 mile per hour fastball by White Sox pitcher Lucas Giolito. I felt the trainers come out and then they, they took me under and the first thing I said to him was like, you got to get me to a hospital. And so they did, got me there, waited for surgery for like two hours and then they put me through surgery and uh, I was in a lot of pain after that. Yeah. Yeah, they did a really good job. A photo of Kyle moments after the hit. So this was the. Is too graphic to show you. So I don't think you want to see this. Believe me. <gasps> oh my God. I didn't want to see my face either. As they were wheeling me into the hospital, I could feel all the eyes on me, and they like, you know, that look when like they look at you and they look down. They don't just. It, I was like, oh, I must look pretty bad. I wasn't here to see it. Um, we were on a plane heading to New York, and so I was keeping up with the game on my phone, and I see hit by pitch and in parentheses, injury delay. When I see the delay on there, I knew it had to, had to be bad. Kyle's wife, Courtney, watched the replay in horror, unaware of the extent of his injuries. I was able to keep pretty calm. I saw the video after the fact, so I was able to see him get up and walk off the field, which helped me. 35 stitches, wires to put his teeth back into place, and four root canals later, Kyle tells me he's eager to get back out there. And your mental state, I mean, when you're up at bat and the pitch is coming at, you know, 90 plus miles an hour, what's going through your mind? Is there a new fear? Are there anxieties? Just know that that's very rare for that to happen. And uh, knowing that it's rare, you know, it's in the back of my mind, it, it keeps me safe, but there's always that little bit in the back of your head that says it could happen again. Um, but it's not going to change my approach to the game or my approach to hitting at all. I know he's nervous about it. I'm just worried about his mental aspect of it. It's, it's scary getting back out there. She worries about me, but she knows I'll be okay. And, uh, you know, that's, we're raising our son to be like that too. So just tough it out and get back out there. For added protection, Kyle will now be wearing a face guard on his helmet, something a few of his teammates started wearing after they witnessed his gruesome hit. That's a new thing to get used to as well. Um, I wasn't wearing one before and, uh, now it's, just, it's in your visual a little bit, but you see a lot of guys wearing it now, so it's not, it's not that big of a deal. I like to tough it out, I like to grind it out, so I think any parents out there or any kids, you know, you're going to get hit, but you just got to get back up and, and face the fear of not getting hit again.